Hi, this is Katie Shell with Essential Journeying. Um, I'm an intuitive healer and uh, astrologer, master aromatherapist, Reiki master, all sorts of different wonderful things that help you empower yourself to be better at being you. So what this video is about is about the upcoming Aquarian full moon. And with this um, one, this is going to be on July 23rd, 24th, depending on what part of the world you're in. And it is going to be, um, and then there's going to be another one on, I think it's August 21st, because there's always going to be either 13 full moons or 13 new moons in every um, calendar year, just because of the way that the lunar cycles work versus the way that the solar cycles work and the way that the, the earth rotates. So we always get two, and they're going to be one right after the other, unless it's in Capricorn. And then it's, um, anyway, so this year we get a double dose of the Aquarian full moon. And so this has been, you know, the age of Aquarius. We've had a lot of Aquarian energy happening this year. Um, a lot of talk about Aquarian energy. So you really want to know where Aquarius is in your, in your chart. Um, because Pluto is going to be moving through there in a couple years. Saturn has been moving through there all year. Um, Jupiter has been there most of the year, although it's been in Pisces, it's about to go back into Aquarius and then we'll finish off the year, um, in Aquarius and then going back again into Pisces for next year. So really knowing where Aquarius is, is because that's an area in your life that's going to be full of transformation right now, um, full of changes, full of, you know, right now we've got just Saturn in there. Um, well, Saturn and this full moon. So with having Saturn in there, we're feeling a sense of maturity. We're feeling... Um, a need to constrict, we're feeling a draw, draw to traditional values, but because it's an Aquarius, it's kind of doing that in innovative new kinds of ways. It's doing it through technology. And so it's reestablishing our own rules and what, you know, so by feeling what that, what is constricting us right now, we're able to rewrite our rules so that we do something that feels more in alignment with who we are. So really, really paying attention to where Aquarius is for you, because that's just going to once Saturn moves out, we're going to have Pluto moving in in the next couple of years. So it's going to be hit after hit after hit in Aquarius. So we're really looking at changing what that house is for us and all of that stuff with Aquarius. So with the full moon, the full moon is always going to be the the moon in opposition to the sun. And the sun, the sun is in Leo and Leo is about uh charisma it's about having being in the spotlight it's about really shining it's about our ego it's about our individuality um Le both leo and aquarius are fixed signs which means that they don't like change very much and they like the way things are so having the moon and, and as we were talking about just a minute ago you know with saturn being in there you know it's forcing us to reevaluate these things. And so things that we don't want to change, it's work in some ways we're kind of going, oh, I really don't want to change. But Saturn is kind of forcing us to to look at that. And having now the moon in there is forcing us to say, to feel into it. And feel into what feels right. Feel into what kind of things that we uh and explore our individuality. It's and the things that don't necessarily function in our lives the way we want them to. So looking again at that past six months, you know, what were you doing in February um, when it comes to connecting with other people, when it comes to, to expressing your individuality, when it comes to being yourself, when it comes to looking at things from outside the box, when it comes to connecting with your community, when it comes to your social networks, you know, this is a time now to reevaluate that and see what kind of things are working or not working for you. So releasing those things that aren't working for you, celebrating the things that are working for you. And so the oil that I'm choosing for this full moon is rhododendron. And rhododendron is all about you know, when we work with rhododendron, so we anoint our heart, we anoint our head, and we anoint, you know, the bottom our, the bottom of our spine, or maybe our feet or our legs, but really very much about anointing the heart. And so when we anoint, you know, we take, we take a breath, we set our intention, and the intention here is going to be 
making stronger connection with those who belong in our life and releasing connections with those people who don't and asking for more clarity in that and asking for those who don't belong in our lives to kind of dissolve and those connections to dissolve and fade away. This doesn't mean that people are bad or that there's something wrong. You know, we all grow, we're all growing, we're all evolving and we're all changing. And a lot of people like to say that I've outgrown this relationship or I've outgrown this person. And to me, that implies this imbalance of growth. Like that means I'm growing this far and you're still here. And that's not necessarily what it means when we grow out of contact with each other. It means that, you know, we've grown in different, our paths have diverged. It doesn't mean one person is at a higher growth or is a better growth. Because I think people can tend to get really uh, competitive with with their growth um and it's not about that and so you know this is again because we've got that leo sun here we're gonna feel some of those ego ego hits and this is about ego and so when we when we start it's uh an ego and ego isn't bad you know ego is the motivation that makes us stand up it's the motivation that makes us stand out it's the motivation that allows us to be who we are and the best person who we are but when we start having a dysfunctional ego that is when we start comparing and thinking that we need to be better than this person and we start feeling that real competitive nature so with with the sun in leo opposing the moon in aquarius you know finding that balance between community and um, individuality and but still really kind of fixating you know because these are fixed signs so fixing on what is us and what matters to us so just having time in this new moon so we've got other you know there's all sorts of other aspects happening right now well mercury will still be in cancer so we're going to be talking about so our communication is going to be very much about nurturing about so you know nurturing our voice using a nurturing voice we're going to be triggered through our communications we're going to be feeling things through our communications uh pluto in capricorn um is is about breaking down structures it's about it's in and it's going to be in a close so the pluto and capricorn and this moon new moon in aquarius are going to be really close to each other so they're going to be i think about four or five degrees apart so they're going to be influencing each other so pluto is still trying to break down the structures and break and so breaking down those kind of the yeah those structures those traditions those uh, corporations you know whatever kind of things that that patriarchy you know the whole things that are feel may feel oppressive to us or may feel really um, keeping us down keeping us from being fully who we want to be keeping us from expressing ourselves with Pluto is just breaking that apart right now and so with having this full moon right next to it but in Aquarius already we're feeling that push and that emotional push that towards what we really need as those things are breaking down behind us and we're now moving forward and letting those things go um, and other things about the Aquarian moon or it's about claiming our sovereignty. It's about knowing that others can't control us. It's knowing and really because again, because of that mercury and cancer happening right now, it's feeling that we can express ourselves and express our emotions and express our feelings and express our ideas and the things that we want to create and the things that we want to bring change into this world and really allowing ourselves to express that. So really play with that. Play with what's really play with your what is important to you play with what makes you shine and play with what makes you connect with other people and finding the balance between what is you and what is them and what out there helps you be more you so thank you very much i hope this helped and um i will be doing this a little bit more uh, live on facebook on friday and um you know subscribe this is a youtube thing subscribe to my email subscribe to my newsletter um check out my website katieshell.com if you would like to get a micro mini reading where this actually falls specifically in your chart i do those for about 13 dollars um they're little five ten minute readings but the, we we can hit some really quick points with you um in regard to where you want to go and what is this 
specific full moon and some of these other aspects need for you right now. So I thank you for joining me and have a great day.